in 2011, my husband was diagnosed with renal cell carcinoma, stage four cancer. And I tried to get him um, in service. He was a veteran, and um, but he didn't have his VA benefits or anything. We were really isolated and, and um, he kept us with no um, ID and no social security numbers and we were really off the grid for almost 30 years. We were kept on a mountain in a shed. And no running water, um, no electricity, um, no indoor plumbing. It was a 12 by 24 shed. So that was ridiculous. I couldn't give him any medical assistance at all. And so I made a phone call. I looked up in the phone, pa uh, the yellow pages, and I got a hold of St. Vincent, which directed me to uh, Heritage Health, and that's where I met uh, the homeless outreach for veterans. And um, through them, we got him with his VA benefits and such. So after 26 years of being together, I escaped and I went to a shelter, and I had to leave all of my children. 2014. I literally was on the streets with two leather jackets, a bag, my mom's ashes. <laughs> I mean, I had nothing. And I never, I never realized how bad our situation was until I became part of this um, community. Sarah is my doctor and TJ is also my doctor and he's the one in this outreach program. I was diagnosed with um, severe trauma. In the process, um, I was forced sedated a lot and so um, I have weaned myself off of alcohol, off of marijuana, off of now cigarettes. I weaned myself off of all chemical um, dependency that I've had in a very short time. And um, TJ really helped me walk through that when I would have anxiety attacks. And so um, whenever I needed him, it was just reassuring that I could go to him. And I'm very uh, thankful to be alive and I'm very thankful for heritage and everybody there, everybody, you walk in there and everybody has compassion. I have, everybody has love, every, they all, I don't understand these people. This is like this wonderful community. You don't get this at a regular hospital. You don't get any of that, but you do get it there. They bring hope and compassion to our community and um, we need them. <laughs>